How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. We're gonna talk about Chrome Downloader Plus. Now, this is an update, an upgrade to the original Chrome Downloader, and it has a whole bunch of new features, a new design, and it features a brand new YouTube video downloader integrated directly inside Chrome Downloader. So I'm gonna show you right now. First of all, I'm just gonna download a file uh, to show you the new interface, et cetera. So there's Evasion. Uh, for the Mac, tap that. And there's the new UI. You have the destination. So I can select the destination and we'll choose, let's see, let's just keep it as is in the Chrome folder. And then just tap download there. There's download. And it's starting to download. You see the little one, tap that. And then tap download manager. And you can see at the top, you see where it's downloading, gives you the percentage, the size, the file name, et cetera. Uh, gives you a little running tally of how much has been downloaded. Once the download is complete, it'll appear below in the downloads uh, section or the YouTube section if you download a YouTube video. So download is complete now. We'll go back to download manager, right under downloads, as you see there, you see the evasion and you can open in uh, and you can uh, delete, et cetera. So let's go ahead and just keep that there. We won't clear it off yet. Let's go ahead and open up our YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and go to youtube.com slash my jailbreak movies. And uh, here we go. Taking a little bit to load up. All right, so here's our channel. Let's just open up a, a video. Now at the bottom, you see the little nub there and that's, if you're using, uh, Zephyr, it's kind of hard to grab this thing. So just be aware of that. That's one problem that I had a lot because Zephyr wants to go ahead and invoke as well. So you just kind of kind of pull it up really slowly. Just got to grab it in the right spot. <laughs> it's crazy. It is kind of annoying, but eventually you'll, you'll get it. And here are all the video resolutions. You can tap on the resolution you want to download the video as. So 720p there, 26 megabytes. You can select the destination again, and then just tap download. And then if you scroll up, you'll see the one download there. Just tap that, tap download manager. And for some reason, this download has not started to kick off yet. Still showing 0%. 26 megs, hmm. So this is probably something to do with my network connection. Um, I don't think this is an issue with Chrome Downloader Plus. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and close that out here and then I'll, I'll try to download another video. How about that? So let's just cancel that download, hit the little X there. All right, downloads cancel. Let's try another video. How about the Safari share links? And I'll again try to grab this little nub here at the bottom. Uh, it's kind of tricky if you have Zephyr enabled. There we go. All right, so we'll download this. How about 360? And then we'll tap download and we'll go back to our download manager. And you can see it's downloading and that was quick. And it appears under the YouTube section. And if I tap that little arrow there, I can save the camera row, import audio. So it uses Gremlin so you can actually import it directly to your videos. Uh, to your camera roll uh, as audio, etc. So there is the video that I downloaded. Okay. And uh, it works just like that, folks. This is Chrome Downloader Plus. As you see, you have two download managers in one. You have one for normal files, and then you also have a YouTube downloader. So if you're using another standalone YouTube downloader, hey, you may be able to get rid of that and just use Chrome Downloader Plus, especially if you're a, an exclusive Chrome user. Now, one complaint I do have about this is that it doesn't like to, uh, some things you can't open via iFile. I wish there was a way you could open it directly via iFile, but you, still, if you just open up iFile by itself, you go to the documents, or not documents, go to media, Chrome, and then you'll find all your downloads there. So if you need to get access to your downloads directly from iFile, you can just go directly to the directory. Got that? Clear as mud? Okay. Here are the preferences for Chrome Downloader. You have download files, YouTube Downloader, disable autoplay, you have the various file types, concurrent downloads. The file types, you have tons of different file types to choose from. 
and you can choose which ones you want to be compatible with Chrome Downloader Plus. You also have notifications you can disable or enable when a download is completed. This is Chrome Downloader Plus. It is the sequel to Chrome Downloader. You can find it for three bucks on Cydia's Big Boss repo. Folks, as you saw, the whole revamped UI, uh, of course you have the normal downloads, all the different file types and YouTube downloads. This is a very awesome jailbreak tweak. If you use Chrome, then you should definitely know. Harry, run to the Cydia store over to Big Boss repo and download this right now. You can find it on Cydia's Big Boss repo. It is Chrome Downloader Plus. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.